So I wanted to share with you our sixth grade homeschool curriculum for this upcoming school year. Uh, my daughter will be 11, and if she was in school, she would be going into the sixth grade. However, we don't necessarily go by grade level when we're picking out curriculum, just where we're at and what we have. So a few notes about our curriculum this year is one, I decided not to spend a whole lot of money on curriculum. I had a bunch of leftover stuff from my older daughter who is two years older. So I went through everything that we had and then from there I bought missing pieces that we needed. But in total I spent um, $90. The second little note is that everything here is secular and also my daughter was very involved in picking out everything. She's really excited about everything that we have. I didn't want to have anything that she she really didn't want to do so that way she's self-motivated to to do it and she's already started on a couple things and it's July um, so let me just get into it I will leave links down below for most of this stuff so if you're interested in learning more about it I'm not going to go in depth about anything uh, but if you want to learn more about it just just look at the description below so the first thing is this Build Your Library. It is going to be our literature and American history curriculum. It is American history part two. We've already done the first part of American history with other curriculums. So this is our first year using Build Your Library and I just thought that this was a good level. This is one that we're also gonna be using with my ninth grader. Uh, we're just gonna, I'll add some more books in for her at, at higher reading levels. But, but for sixth grade, this is a literature-based curriculum. So you, you buy the curriculum as a PDF online. It's $49.95, I believe. And then you go to the library and you, and you check out a lot of the books. Um, I, all of the books I can check out at the library. I've already looked. So just the, this is the only part I had to buy for $50. Um, for, like English, we're also going to be doing this easy grammar. Grade 5 is just what I happen to have. I didn't want to buy grade 6 when grade 5 will do. Uh, she did, hasn't done grammar for a couple years and she wanted to. So we're going to use this. And then she also picked out this 100 days of writing. This is one she's really excited about and has already started. Uh, but these are, this is one that I bought for her and it's $19.99 on Amazon. And also 180 Days of Geography, which is another workbook she picked out. She really likes doing workbooks, so that's what we got for her. And then for science, this is an old science book that we had. Uh, she doesn't, she, I mean, she doesn't care, I don't really care a whole lot about a science curriculum, let me say that, because we do a lot of like, outside stuff and sciencey field trips so I don't really feel like I need a super good science curriculum right now this is just kind of like a workbook style thing that she can go through and read and do I'm not going to be super worried about her doing that because we do a lot of science just in life and then this is another one from build your library that I bought years ago and just never used it is Darwin and Evolution Unit Study, and it is also literature-based, and it's supposed to be like for eight weeks. We're pretty relaxed, so we'll just see how long we get through it, how long it takes us to get through it. But again, there's books that you check out from the library and videos to watch. So for math, we are, this is something that my older daughter has already completed volumes one through four. Uh, my Skylar, the sixth grader, has almost completed volume one. She's been working on that this summer because it starts very basic with addition and subtraction and just works very quickly through it. But she's almost on volume two, so she'll do that. And I've got all of them. They go all the way up, I think, through seven or eight. I don't know. I just ordered the last set for my older daughter that's at the high school level. But anyway, we've got all of all the way through middle school in these and she can just 
go at her own pace. Um, but I'll definitely link this down below because I'm not going to go through it right now. Uh, we also had this leftover from my other daughter that if she gets done with this or she needs more practice, she can do this workbook. There's only been a few pages have been completed. Um, and then we also had this math notebook. And of course, Khan Academy online is good practice also. Now, sometimes we get tired of doing schoolwork and we just want to do fun unit studies. And I, I bought this last year and we did several unit studies out of here and they're just so much fun. It has, it covers all of your subjects. It's like a week. And let me just show you an example. I think this was one that we, that we did. It's like, you do a wolf, that's the topic. And it gives you a book and a science lesson and an art lesson. And this is just kind of like a fun break from doing like school schoolwork if you want to do a unit study. But that is everything that we are using this year. We are pretty relaxed. We don't have like school hours or anything. My kids are pretty self-motivated and they kind of do the work, what they feel like doing on what days. Because she's picked all this stuff out, she's really excited about using it all. Um, the only thing that I'm like super involved in is this Build Your Library because it does have a lot of read alouds and copy work and stuff like that that I, I sit down and do this a lot with them and everything else is kind of mostly independent. I do the math with her also, but they're really short lessons. But yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know and again, got everything linked below so go check all that stuff out and I will be getting another video uploaded to show you what my ninth grade daughter is doing and once I get that uploaded I'll, I'll tag it up at the top but thanks